Hey guys, welcome back to Traycraft Season 2. I'm so excited to be here. I mean, I'm this is pretty epic. Um, but I have to say, this uh, so far, I did do a little something different this time from last time. So since last season, I we kind of did, we got up to just before the dragon, I decided, well, maybe uh, this time instead of filming everything up till the dragon again, and then after the dragon this time, what if I just filmed a little bit before the dragon? So, uh, 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 and mostly after. So, we're going to be mostly, I'm gonna sh this first episode here is going to be mostly about farming the uh, to, uh, through to the first, um, first, everything, basically up to the dragon. And then after that, we are going to have everything else. But, I thought I'd show you guys around what we've done so far. But, we have an army of dogs here, as you might have seen. Um, here we have our beautiful to-do board. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what else I should do, and it will be added here. But yeah, certainly we have mass storage unit farm, sweet berry farm, bigger farm, and fishing pond. I'm most probably going to cover most of these today, or in this video. Um, we have a nice nether portal. It goes into basalt delta, and we have a nice mansion here. And most of my loot is tucked away somewhere safe. I can't show you guys in case um, the other members are watching, because it's supposed to be safe from them. If they watch this video, well, then I don't want them to know where all my stuff is. So, yeah, pretty easy. So, I'm just gonna. So, I'm gonna start building the farm down here. So, let's get going. Well, actually, it's been a while on the server. I think it's been launched for about a week now. And I said. You know what? Maybe I was going. I'll wait, and I'll we'll, I'll wait till we fight the dragon to do stuff. Yeah, I didn't do that. I, I to start filming because the dragon actually it looks like nobody's even found a fortress yet. So we're still looking at quite a long while. So I didn't want to leave you guys out on everything. So I thought I'd catch you up on what's going on. So we got a nice villager there. Um, so basically, here's what's going on. I yes me. Uh, this was imploding ocelots. I stole the villagers but i built a giant villager spawner and i just had to get the villagers up this and i got my soul sand so works it's not working this is sad okay let me figure this one out okay come on hello horses yeah uh it's raining that's annoying Okay, so I just want to say that I am currently moving all of my stuff from one house to the next house. And that I do, I do, we have been playing for like a week, week and a half. So I have a ton of loot, like a literal, I mean, I have chests and chests. I had an old house, burnt it down. I can show a clip of it real quick. But yeah, uh, that's... The old house, and I burnt it down because I was like, you know what? Why do I need this? And I didn't. Uh, well, I didn't. It was way too close to spawn. Literally, you could walk. It was like 50, no less than more than 50 blocks from spawn. And saying we have new people joining, actually quite a bit. I didn't want my house just being like found by. I didn't want it being looted or something by other people. And so I just uh, or griefed by random people who get on the server sometimes. But, so yeah, um, by the way, if you do want to join our Discord and possibly get into the server, uh, I will never share the cords of this base. Because I'm smart now. And, but yeah, no, if you want to, um, you possibly could even get into the Tradecraft world. We're still trying to grow the world. I mean, if you, uh, we, I'm, we're still having people on you just, and stuff. So you could get the IP. Or you could just say, uh, be there and we see a cool new Tradecraft announcements before they even come out in the video. So yeah, make sure to uh, 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 go to Discord. Link on screen and in the description. But yeah, lots of loot. I'll, I'll quickly go, uh, I, and I'm going to build a giant storage unit. Just came to check upon the villager breeder, and it's been like one day. And we have a villager! Now, if you're wondering why there's water here, it's because any excess food that gets thrown down, it falls into the water, which goes in the hopper, which goes in the chest. It's actually a really cool design, and I give props to the um, designer of this, which um, the video, oh, their video will most likely be linked in the description if I remember to add it. 
But yeah, it, it's a really good villager breeder, it, and it has it, it's a pretty effective one. I think it's more effective than um, imploding ocelots because it has four farms instead of one. So this one's actually four times as fast if I'm right. Well, getting food wise. But yeah, and then basically what I do is I can get my mine carts, which I actually have one right now, and I can uh, press a button, which I forgot to put down, so I'll get that. But basically, I'll shoot the mine cart up. Pick up said villager and bring him down, which I then have some mine rails in which I am going to send into the trading center. Otherwise, for right now, uh, I'm going to keep him there. The hope is that it keeps going and the, the villager reader does not stop while I am in the middle of waiting for it to run. But yeah. Okay, guys. So, I have run into a slight problem. Um... The villager breeder, as they grew up, they all pushed each other out the corners of the blocks. So, yeah, that was definitely a weird problem. So now they're all free, besides one of them. I'm hoping I get a few more babies in here. I'm, gonna, I try, I'm testing out a new thing where I put the blocks on the side. Hopefully that works. If not, I just have to get them out before they... I, I can basically hold four villagers at a time. Uh, baby villagers, as long as I'm in the chunks. Well, actually, just about four baby villagers at a time. And, uh, they won't, before they start growing up and pushing each other out, and, yeah. Other than that, it works perfectly great. I get lots of things, and yeah. So, that thing's working pretty good, personally. And now, I'm going to go get to work on the villager, uh, um, trading center, which is gonna look sick. Okay, so I am going... So we got... Uh, the villager breeder seems to be working again. We got a villager down here. Uh, we very well might actually have a second set of villagers breeding up there coming up here soon. So that it w that will slow down the production line, sadly. But there's no way around it. The villagers get stuck up there, and it just slows down the production more. But... we I, I, am gonna, uh, I also did finish the flooring... And I'm going to log off here, but that is going to be that. And I'm, but don't worry. That should still be 100% functional. Maybe at half the speed. Even then, it should still be pretty functional at that. And oh yeah, we also got an iron golem stuck up there. That was a problem. I had to figure that one out. But other than that, we're good to go. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. And a, a quick update to you guys. Um, so I've been collecting sets of villagers and putting them in boats right here, so. Uh, there's several villagers in here, but I lost my minecarts. I'm pretty sure they're in the chests up there, but I'm too lazy to go get them. So, yeah, they're just gonna live in there for a while. Uh, I have modified the breeder just a little, because the reason why villagers were getting glitched in the blocks here was because, um, they were jumping in the water and then they grew the full size. They got stuck. I also may have figured out a solution for the problems of villagers getting stuck on the beds up there. Maybe. I'm hoping I didn't break the spawner. We'll find out as soon as I... I don't think we did, though. I mean, we could have. Not as how many normal villagers are in here. Uh, I gotta go to sleep real quick, but... Yeah, um... So, because I, I, the thing is, I don't want my villagers getting killed because they're all in boats in the open. It already happened once. It was actually very sad. Okay, so yeah, I can just, um, so basically I've fixed up this area. Uh, we'll sleep real quick. Sleeping, man, sleeping takes forever. Right, yeah, um, but yeah, if this is kind of like the design I had in the last Tradecraft Survival, if you guys saw that, where basically... I had a bed, I had the I uh, the workstation, and I had the villagers just normal spot. And we have the same design there again. Um, so, but and then I'm gonna except it's gonna be two story. I haven't gone to work on the second story too much yet. Well, I I mean I don't have quite the materials in order to do much here. So we'll get to, I'll, I'll get what I can done. But other than that. Just thought I'd check in with you guys and tell you what I was, uh, my progress on the villager trade house. Which, uh, by the way, just to let you know, is actually uh, really... Oh my gosh, it, wait, what? How did I just get... Okay, that's weird lag problems. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know my problems. Uh, or the problems and the progress of everything going on. Because, yeah. I'm gonna go find those mics. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all that. And make sure to stay tuned for future videos coming in the future. Yeah, we got more videos coming in the future. So, I mean, I filmed ahead a good chunk as I've already said this video. But that was the first, like, week and a half on the survival. I mean, so much has happened since then. And it will be summed up in a few episodes. I am going to start slowing down as I reach, as I start running out of content. But I want to hurry up. I want to get ahead for you guys. And I'm actually going to start probably streaming some of the Tradecraft survival as it comes out before the videos even release. So yeah, hope to do that. So I'll see you guys next time in another video.